What is up guys, Ghost Pain here. Welcome to Madden 24 and today I've got a very decent game for you guys. So get your popcorn ready, get your favorite soda ready. You're gonna need them for this video. But anyway, I'm rolling with the Chicago Bears. My opponents got the Las Vegas Raiders. Two teams looking to make an impact this season and two teams I thought had a decent off season given their circumstances. Now the Bears, they've added some pretty good players to their roster, they've added Tremaine Edmonds and Yannick Ngak away defensively, but their biggest ad in my opinion is wide receiver DJ Moore who was given superstar status in this game. And to my knowledge, he's the only superstar player on the Bears roster in this game. I'm actually surprised Justin Fields ain't at least a superstar, but things could change over the year as we know. But I think DJ Moore will be a great addition for the Bears offense and a great weapon for Justin Fields. But anyway, third and seven, Fields finds a wide open Darnell Mooney left all alone in the end zone there. And that's an easy touchdown. And the Bears, they strong opening statement as they open up the game with a touchdown from Fields to Mooney. Extra point up and good. And with that, the Bears lead by seven. But anyway, 248 left to go in the first. The Raiders will now get a chance as this is Jacorian Bennett on the return, gets to about the 20. So the Raiders will start with their new quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, who I think is a decent add to this offense, especially given the circumstances of what we saw with Derek Carr last season. And on top of that, the Raiders also traded their star tight end, Darren Waller, to my team, the New York Giants. So... They did lose a couple of good players on offense. I can understand why they had to let those guys walk. But I think their offense is still in good shape. They still got that guy, Josh Jacobs, a very decent running back. They still got one of the best receivers in the league in Devontae Adams, in my opinion. They got this guy, Michael Mayer. He'll have big shoes to fill with Darren Waller gone. But I think he'll be good enough as... He sets up a first down at the 45. Next play, Jacobs takes that for 13. First and 10 at the 32. Wide open is Josh Jacobs. And Jacobs sheds a couple tackles inside the five out of bounds at the three. And there's what great plays, what potential Josh Jacobs has. He is very good. He can catch, he can run, he can do a lot. Right there, he stopped for no gain, though. Second and goal at the three. Jacobs gets the handoff again, and this time he's able to punch through for the score. And the Raiders answer right back with a nice drive led by Josh Jacobs. And with no time left in the first, the, the game is now tied at seven. But anyway, Raiders kicking off. Jones takes this from about the 12, gets to about the 24. So can Fields respond? As Fields, first play over the middle. This is caught by Cole Komet. Don't know if I'm saying that right. Who sheds a couple tackles and has a first down at the 40. Next play, Fields with time. Looking for Chase Claypool, but that is broken up. However, there is a flag and it is because it's pass interference on the defense. That'll set up a first and 10 at the 44. Try the read option again, but... That is blown up by Crosby, who's in the zone. Got to be careful. Try for DJ Moore there, but he couldn't hold on. Great play by the safety. Third and long. Fields hits DJ Moore and Moore. Able to get the first down. Knees down at the 41. Clutch play there from DJ Moore for his first catch of the game. And Khalil Herbert next play able to push his way for about five there. Second and five at the 36. We run the read option with Fields again. Has room on the left. Gets a block from DJ Moore, and he can just walk into the end zone. Justin Fields so fast. Finally breaks a big one. And with that, that will put the Bears back on top by seven as Fields going to showboat. And the extra point by Cairo Santos up and good. And with that, the Bears lead by seven with 2.38 to go in the half. But anyway, we kick off to Ja'Cory and Bennett again, and Bennett able to get to about the 20. Raiders will have to go 80 yards again to tie the game. They got this guy to help, Josh Jacobs, who gains about six on that play. Second and four, approaching the two minute mark. Jimmy hits Devontae Adams, his first catch of the game, and that's good for a first down at the 33. Two minutes left in the half. 
Garoppolo with time. Hits Hunter Renfro, able to hold on at the 50. That's a first down right at midfield. So 90 seconds left. We send the heat at Jimmy, and he does get hit by Jones there. Ball falls incomplete, second and 10. Garoppolo able to find Michael Mayer, and he has the first down at 37. 13-yard gain. And with a minute left in the half, Jimmy makes a mistake here, and that is picked off by TJ Edwards past the 40, tackled by Jacobs at the 50. So a big turnover there. Bears have a chance to add to their lead before halftime. We run the screen to Travis Homer here. The former Seattle Seahawks, he gains about 13. First and 10 at the 39. Justin Fields next play hits DJ Moore over the middle. That's a gain of about five. Second and five, Travis Homer on his first carry of the game. That's good for a first down at the 26. Timeout with 27 seconds left. Fields going to take off over the middle. Fields inside the 10, loses the ball, and it's recovered by the Raiders at the 1. Oh, I tried to get fancy there, and I paid for it with the ball. That's what happens when you get greedy. And we're not able to capitalize on the turnover. We don't get any points at all before halftime. And now the Raiders going to do what they can to try to get points as Adams makes the catch there out of bounds around the 30. Less than 10 seconds to go, though. Jimmy just going to try to heave one deep for Adams, but that is broken up by Eddie Jackson, I believe. Two seconds left, time for only one more play as Garoppolo hits Hunter Renfro here, but well short of the end zone. And that will be your halftime score, guys. Bears lead by seven, but the Raiders get the ball to start the second half. As Jacorian Bennett... Catches it in his own end zone. Trying to look for the left corner. He has room and Bennett past the 40. Finally taken down at the 50. But that will set up the Raiders in good field position as they hand it off to Josh Jacobs. That's a gain of about a couple. So second and eight. Garoppolo with time. Good coverage downfield though and time does run out. Ball falls incomplete there. Sets up third and eight. As Jimmy going deep for Devontae Adams, it is incomplete. Broken up by Eddie Jackson. Fourth and eight, he decides to go for it as Jimmy looking for Adams again, and that is broken up by Eddie Jackson again. That guy is just all over the field. And the Raiders turn it over on downs. Bears in a good spot here. Khalil Herbert able to get four on that carry. And the Bears looking to add to their lead as Fields is going for Cole Komet deep. That is broken up by the defender. Nice play by him. Third down and six. Field stepping up. Looking for Darnell Mooney over the middle. He's got him able to hold on. And that's a first down at the 22. As Fields tries the read option, he is blown up by Chandler Jones there for a loss of one. That sets up second and 11. Fields going to take off over the middle. Fields whoop, putting the juke on. And Fields into the end zone for the touchdown. Justin Fields getting it done with his legs as he's done so much in real life and he's got about 100 rush yards at this point. And with that touchdown, the Bears are now up by 14. Extra point up and good, but 2.13 left in the third quarter. Still plenty of time for the Raiders to bounce back. Here's Jacorian Bennett from his own end zone, and Bennett finds room up the middle, and Bennett, he is going to take this all the way. Two big kickoff returns for Bennett, and this time he takes it for the touchdown, and this time, just like that, the Raiders are down by seven again as the extra point up and good. Only 10 seconds taken off. And the Raiders are back down by seven again. But anyway, it'll be our turn on offense as Scott takes this from the 15. He's down past the 30. That'll be decent field position as Fields hands it off to Khalil Herbert. And Herbert able to take this for about 13 up the middle. First and 10 at the 42. Another handoff to Herbert. A nice run. Gain of eight there right at midfield. Second and two, 45 seconds left in the third. Run the option again to Fields on the keeper. Fields, whoop, putting the moves on again past the 30, down around the 25. And that will mark the end of the third quarter as we hand off to Travis Homer. Whoop, he puts the juke move on and he's in for the touchdown. 
Bears running game getting it done and Travis Homer on his second carry of the game finds the end zone on that play. And with that, the Bears are back up by 14 as Cairo Santos puts the point after up and good. And 4.45 left in regulation. We kick off to Ja'Korian Bennett, who took one to the house already. Last kickoff return, and he's got room on the left. Bennett, one man to beat, and Bennett, he's going to go all the way again. Ja'Korian Bennett, two kickoffs in a row, two ran back for touchdowns. And the Raiders are back down by seven again. The Raiders won't quite go away. The Raiders with the never say die attitude as this is Jones Jr. He's going to try to answer, but he only gets to about the 20 there. Justin Fields going to have to put another one together. He's got Khalil Herbert, but doesn't get much on that play. Only get only one yard. Four minutes left in the fourth. Fields scrambling to the right. Fields going to run it, but he's taken down there. Only for a short gain. Out of bounds to the 25. Third and four. Fields hits DJ Moore for the first down and Moore past the 40 to the 41. So first and 10 approaching the three minute mark, handoff to Herbert, he gets a few on that play. Second and seven, Raiders gonna need to stop here. Read option to Fields and Fields able to get away from the safety and Fields, whoop, putting the spin move on that time. Caught up by Max Crosby though, but he does have a first down at the 36. However, stretch play, Max Crosby blows that up. Max Crosby coming in clutch. Second and 15, set up the screen again to Homer, but that only gains a couple. Looking to get in field goal range, and we try handing it off, but Max Crosby again. Stepping up, stopping the run. Try the field goal, and it's off the upright by Cairo Santos. And now the Raiders have a chance to tie. With a little over a minute left, they hit Hunter Renfro over the middle. That's a first down at the 35. Raiders marching along. Dangerous pass there. Almost picked off. Luckily, it falls incomplete. Second and 10, 45 seconds left. Jimmy scrambling to the right. Jimmy going to take off. Out of bounds. Only gets a couple. 40 seconds left in the game. Third and eight. Jimmy finds Hunter Renfro who makes the catch, and he's out of bounds at the 12. Raiders within striking distance now. 30 seconds left. Jimmy looking for Michael Mayer, but that is overthrown out of bounds. Second and 10. Jimmy to the left. This is Devontae Adams. Open space, and Adams pushes for the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams with the clutch play, and the Raiders players, star players, I mean, coming up clutch. In the final minutes of the game, Max Crosby on defense and now Devontae Adams. And the Raiders keeping the offense on the field. They're going for the win. Going for two with 24 seconds left. Here's Jimmy passing it and it is incomplete. Broken up by Jaquan Brisker looking for Michael Mayer. And the ball falls incomplete. Only hope now is for the onside kick. And the recovery is made by the Bears. And now Fields can just kneel this one to victory. As Fields takes another knee here. And that will do it for this game, guys. What a game, though. What a thrilling game. I told you you were going to enjoy this one. Much to the disappointment of the coaching staff of the Raiders. Not sure why they thought they could go for two. Maybe they thought they were Brian Dable. But the two-pointer does not pay off. And the Bears able to walk away with the win, led by Justin Fields, who had a great game all around. He had amazing passing stats here. 9 for 11, 121 yards, and a touchdown pass. But most of the damage were do was done by the ground game. As Justin Fields, 123 yards. Khalil Herbert with 73 and Travis Homer with 34, that's over 200 rush yards for the Bears, along with three rushing touchdowns. So great job by the Bears running game. Receiving game wasn't that bad either. DJ Moore, 40 yards. Darnell Mooney, 46 yards. A touchdown for Mooney as well. And the Bears defense, they had a couple of good plays. They had a pick by TJ Edwards. They had... 
a clutch play by Jaquan Brisker on that two-pointer. And yeah, great game all around, guys. Let me know if you enjoyed that, and let me know if you're looking forward to the football season. But anyway, guys... That's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like for this one. I mean, you got to leave a like for how epic that game was. But anyway, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.